Ben, how difficult is it to go back to back <clears throat> on road games like this schedule? Uh, is it, is do that a even lot. A... I mean, no, it's not really that big of a deal. Ben, what, uh, when you look at Juju, anything, what surprises you the most about his development? I mean, he was the youngest kid in the draft last year, and just what he's been able to do in a year now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what surprise. I mean, you, you, you see him work, um, you see him go about it, and so, um, you know, I don't know that, that I could say anything surprises. I should I think, have said what stands out to you. Yeah, I mean, I think just that, that you know, typically when new guys come in this league, um, they can surprise people, right? They um, sneak up on them, whatever you want to call it. And so you kind of give a, a year grace period to see how, how teams will respond or individuals will respond to to that uh, first or second year of good play. And he has not just bounced back, but I think exceeded um, even what he did last year. So he just gets better every day. And your reliance on him, it just keeps growing and growing. You know, that's faith and trust, yeah. It's just um, believing and understanding that um, that he's going to be in the right spot and he's going to make plays for me. And did he come in with that work ethic, or is that something he's learned since he's been here? No, he's he's had it for two years, so I assume he's all. It's kind of the way he is. So no, he's he's always worked like like that. Do you think some of the guys who come in now, the rookies who come in, who are better route runners, not necessarily speed guys, they they pick things up more quickly than some of just the guys who are coming out of some of the spread offenses and those kind of things, where it's not quite as exact. Well. I, you know, I don't know. That's a tough one. I, I do think college football offenses are ruining players, uh, especially quarterbacks, because it's just um, you know it's a different kind of offense. But um, you know, you you look at guys like James Washington, for instance, right? He played on one side of the ball, um, and his route tree, I'm sure, wasn't nearly as in depth as it is here. And so he's had to really take um, a lot of steps and learn how to play both sides, learn how to run all the routes in the tree. Um, so I think it definitely can be hard for young guys coming in, but the more precise you are in college, the more routes you run in college, obviously the transition will be easier. Ben, when you get a chance to go to, to Denver, um, what does it mean to you when you've had a season where you've passed Elway in the career yards and then just on Sunday um, passed him for most fourth quarter comebacks in a regular season? Well, that's why I wear seven, uh, because of him. Um, a hero of mine growing up. and. Uh, anytime you get in the record books, it, it, it's it's humbling and it means a lot. And when your name is close to his, um, and then you get to pass him, it's just an honor. Have you, you met him over the years? Ben? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you've met him. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. how, how did that go? Did you tell him uh, that. Uh, that yeah, he know. I, yeah, he knows I wear seven because of him. Um, you know, it's it's. To me, it's the same as I, I talk about those four quarterbacks: Montana, Marino, Elway, and Kelly. Those four guys. Just um, I, got, I was lucky to grow up to watch them. Do you get, do you get a Special feeling when you get a chance to play in Denver because of that. That's where he played. I mean, that's his favorite. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's it's a special place, you know, because of the history, because of him. And, um, you know, we've had we've had some history there as well. So uh, anytime you go into a place, in my opinion, that, that's had a, a legendary type quarterback that I grew up watching, it's, it is kind of special. And next weekend's an alumni weekend. Do you get, I know you're still playing, so you're busy. But do you get to see some of the guys that come back, especially the ones you want to play with? I hope so. Um, I did off the 40 Super Bowl. I got to see a lot of the guys, so I'm hoping to get to see them uh, hang out a little bit. There's still quite a few guys I keep in touch with, so uh, it is makes you feel really old when they're doing <laughs> alumni weekends and you're still playing. Is there any members in particular of that 08 season that stand out more than anything else, that run or that team or that group? I mean, that, that game, it's hard, to, it's hard to think of anything else when you have that game to remember and uh, those plays and that, that play to San Antonio is just um, something I'll never forget. Speaking of that, Ben, when you go to Denver, are there certain games that you want to channel in terms of the mem memories? Are there, is there you go back to the two well, that, that, AFC championship? Yeah, game? the championship game is a special one. There, obviously, losing the one there, um, you know, means a lot too. But that championship game was uh, was unbelievable. Ben, what do you think it is about your offensive line that guys can kind of move in and out and still be effective? I mean, if, you look, if Chukes might make his first start, who knows this weekend? Right. I mean, Matt's been effective coming in. I mean, what is it about that group that? that makes them so effective regardless of kind of who's, who's where? Well, I, I'd probably say it starts with Coach Munchak um, and, and Coach Sweetfeet, Sean Surrett. Um, you know, I think that uh, they're just a, that, that's a special group anyway. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're all so close. They've got their inside jokes. They've got their group texts that they're always on. And they, um, you know, just, just everything. They've been together for a while. That helps. And when you've got five guys that have played together for a, for a long time, for a few years now, anytime a young guy gets infused into that, it's a lot easier to transition him in and to help him. So uh, I think there's a lot of factors. So you're all, you're all calm about Chukes uh, blocking Vaughn Miller at Denver? 
listen, um, nobody can really block Vaughn Miller to, to tell you the truth. So we'll have to put a couple guys over there. So it's it's we're not gonna we're not gonna be crazy and just make one guy do it. We'll, we'll have to put a couple guys over there because um, he and Chubb. I mean, it's we're, it's pretty special. And there have been a few games where you guys started slow but ended up putting up yards and points. You know, what, what's working from an adjustment standpoint right now? Well, you know, we always say we want to start fast. Um, that, that's one of our big goals is starting fast. But um, the only thing better than starting fast is finishing strong. And, and truthfully, that's, that's the most important thing is finishing strong. Um, whether it's in-game adjustments, whether it's no quit, desire, heart, whatever you want to call it, um, these guys, we just never stop fighting. When you come off a game like you did Sunday, which fuels you more – in terms of motivation or, or just want, wanting to do better? Is, is it the slow start or the fast finish? Uh, for me personally, it's just not, not playing you know well because you talk about fourth quarter comebacks, right? You get on this list of, of fourth quarter comebacks, and it's a great thing, but I always joke that usually means you stunk it up the first three quarters, <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, you just got to – I need to play better early. Did you talk back to those guys? Nope. Rams? Nope. Never. Did you, did you never do that? Mm, not really. So it must have been Sorry. an extra satisfying run, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. To hold that ball at the end? Yeah, I, I might have said something, but I didn't. <laughs> and Super I mean, you guys are 15 1 and 1 on the road in the last 17 regular season. See, why do you have to talk about well, it? Well, I mean, just. Is there, are you guys superstitious at all? Is there anything that you guys. Only when we get asked about it. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a no that's not like, oh, I'm going to eat the same no, breakfast every day? No, or? I don't really care. So, no, it's if you're. Honestly, I, I tell. I, I used to be superstitious when I was younger playing, I think. You know, growing up high school, college, you're always you, you get those things. But the older I get, the more I understand. Like my faith, if you if you're a, if you have a faith based life and you believe in God and all these things, then superstition isn't really real. And what there, allows this team to have that type of success on the road? I don't know. Um, you know, it's it's almost one of those. You're going into the lines, then you're back again. Everyone against you. What you know, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, you just have to be uber focused and. I guess we've been doing that recently. Aside from wearing number seven, was there anything else that you picked up from Elway in terms of mannerisms or things that he did as a superstitious kid? Oh, um, no, I mean, you always try. I mean, he th I joked that he could throw a ball through a car wash and it wouldn't get wet. You know, I mean, just such a big arm. Not really a runner, but was, but would run. You know, and I think that's kind of been my game is I'm not a running quarterback, but you're not afraid to run and get the yards when you need to. So those kind of things, I really just – like molded my game after. I wish my arm was as strong as his, though. Why do you think you're running more this year? What's that? Why do you think you are running more this year? Um, because I've gotten faster in my old age. <laughs> you, you said you were going to get, uh, or your son wants a James Conner jersey. Is mm -hmm. that something Santa's going to deliver on, you think? I, I don't know. I got, he's wrote the letter to Santa, so we'll see. Um, but, he, yeah, it was pretty funny that he was saying that. Now my – today is my son's birthday, so happy birthday, Benjamin. But um, – my youngest son now is he does everything his older brother does, so now he wants to be James Conner too, so oh. it's pretty funny.